Welcome everyone. What you need to know and what to expect when it comes to your career and finances is today's Timeless Pick a Card. Today we have two options. Option one on the left hand side we have Labradorite and option two on the right hand side Watermelon Tourmaline. Take a deep breath with me and exhale. Timestamps are in the description box. If you need more time to choose you can pause the video now. See you at your option. Welcome, option one. Those of you who chose this beautiful artwork, Labradorite, birds are chirping outside. Can you hear that? So that may mean something to you. The number 29 could be relevant, the number two. Some of you are jewelry makers. Something about your intuition, but I see an awakening here. Feeling it's very enthusiastic energy. Very, I'm feeling very ener energized with your pile. You're awakening. You're awakening to the magic. You're awakening to, to your own magic. You're a unicorn. You have something so special about you and you're realizing it. Finally realizing it. And I feel by awakening to that magic that you have, that you are, things are really going to pick up. For you, there's a picking up, a picking up of the pace for you guys. You're going to start to see a few synchronicities. The more you wake up to this, the more synchronicities you're going to see. And there's going to be help coming in for you from unexpected sources. So there's a lot of uh, support coming in for you when it comes to your career and your finances. Okay, beautiful. What a way to start. Vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. The number 39 and the number 3. So we have 29, 39. We have 2 and 3. <clears throat> Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. And I feel this opening your heart is going to reveal that magic because I feel the magic comes from your heart. And with the number two here, I'm seeing two people in this card. Not all cards in this deck have two people. It could be that your career or finances will be tied with someone else. Someone else who shares the same vision or who is complementary to your vision or to your talents and skills and experience and knowledge. And there's a sense that in opening your heart in a, to love in general, not just romantic love, but universal love, but also romantic love and allowing yourself the vulnerability to explore love and true love is going to somehow benefit you on the career front and in your finances as well. Or maybe a trajectory that you have done so far with this vulnerability and this effort into opening your heart is going to, in turn, make you more creative when it comes to career and making money. There's a, there's a connection between vulnerability, opening your heart, that is getting you in touch with your own magic. There's someone else in your life now, the two of you could have dark hair. Okay, I'm seeing that could be a possibility. There's someone in your life who is activating your heart to be open and vulnerable. And the more vulnerable and open you are with this person, the more it seems like you two assist each other in creating something new and something prosperous and something magical. This person, the more you open up with this person, the more you open, you, you get in touch with your own magic. And you're doing the same for this person here. So it seems like inevitably a love situation or a friendship or someone you love dearly, it doesn't have to be romantic, okay? Even though for in, in most cases it's going to be. Uh, is somehow going hand in hand with you getting in touch with your own magic and this benefiting your career and financial evolution. I did want to say something about partnerships when I saw the number two, but I, I held back from saying it. And now seeing this card, it makes sense. That vulnerability. 
okay? Hi, um, if you're seeing a lot of edit cuts in my videos lately, it's because I am dealing with al allergies and sometimes it takes me one or two or three takes to even start your, uh, your readings. Um, and sometimes I have to interrupt to sneeze or something, okay? So that's why you may notice that um, the, the video can jump from while I'm in the middle of a subject. Maybe a lot of you are experiencing the same right now. So that could be some kind of synchronicity here. Okay. Yeah, but it, definitely I see support coming your way. A lot of support and help here. Um, and I see that coming through a person. Okay. Grounding. Career and finances. Yeah. When it comes to money, right, that is the grounding of the um, it's the physical manifestation of the ethereal energy of energy exchange, right? So, um, okay, here's what I'm getting with this card. What I'm seeing, okay, this is actually really, really good in a, in a career and finance reading. This is, is maybe one of the best words you want to see um, grounding. Um, there's something here, the number 15 and the number 6, excellent numbers for, you know, making money. Because it means that, it could be that you're a workaholic, okay? That's just one thing I want to get out of the way. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your chart. Strongly, it could be uh, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Sun, Moon, Rising, or just some other important placement, south no no node, north node, uh, maybe even mid-heaven. But one plus five is also a six, and six is Venusian energy. So I'm, I'm getting Libra here as well. Venusian energy is the, e the energy of magnetizing wealth, right? Um, plenty, abundance, that kind of energy. So what's happening, and I, I can't help but notice these... Um, these roots here, um, and this this plant, right, being starting to grow here from the roots. So you're starting to see the first signs of something that you've been working on, maybe for I don't know five years, at least five years, and you're starting to see something beautiful and magical come out of that. Um, and I see that maybe you've been very patient and maybe even getting frustrated at times with how long this has been taking, but you're just now going to start to see the fruits of your hard work and your labor, and you're going to be able to relax more. I feel you may be very tired and you need to rest. But I'm also seeing something else here. There, you have like a, a superpower or a strength when it comes to business here. And you've learned this over the years. And <clears throat> it's going to allow you to... There's there Less is more, okay? I just heard less is more. It's going to allow you to work smart, not hard. So you're realizing that you don't have to be a workaholic so there that's changing for you because you're going to find some kind of a method or a system that's going to work more effectively for you to the point where now you will be able to find more time to relax and take care of your health as well so that you have enough health to see this thing grow it's time to take care of your health to see this thing grow yes sacral chakra it's time to start having more fun and the more fun you have right now, the more you will create. And I was saying something about opening your heart here will be a key to create something more. Because it's the key to your own magic. And the key is vulnerability. The key to open your heart is the vulnerability. And once you do that, you're going to find that magic or that magical thing that you're going to create. But it's only when you relax. 
there's only so much you could have done in this scenario of being a workaholic. And now if you want this thing to grow, if you want to explore new avenues and do less is more, smart not hard, then you have to access this magic here. And that's what I see happening for you. And that's when you're going to start truly creating something that is unique, magical, and different. And it's when you come out of this energy of being drained almost, allowing yourself some rest, then allowing yourself to really enjoy life and have some fun, that all of a sudden you get this, you connect to your magic. And once you connect to your magic, you start creating magical things. And when you create magical things, things grow a lot faster and you get a lot more from each thing you create in terms of that energy, energy exchange, that physical return in the money is what I'm seeing here. But I feel the key had something to do with a vulnerable exchange with another human being. So if you're very like one track mind business oriented, just being logical, if you want to go further when it comes to your career, there needs to be this opening up, this exchange with someone. There has to be someone you trust to exchange these ideas because you, you, you can both grow together is what I'm seeing here at the very least. And that then, then yeah, woman with a coin, there you go. That's when you um, unlock your magic with vulnerability and opening your heart and you will unlock the, the gates and comes the, the flow of, of prosperity is what I'm seeing here. And consequent financial stability, which I do see here in your future. The number 42, the number six could be relevant. I see really securing a future for yourself financially. The grounding itself, the word grounding coming through itself was already indicative of that. And I forgot to mention that. You will ground your manifestation. You will bring that energy of money into your physical reality with the grounding itself. I, I already saw that. But for some reason, the other messages needed to come through. But these two just confirm each other. I see a very solid financial standing for you in the future as a consequence of whatever you're doing on the career front, but also as a consequence of you fostering a healthy relationship with someone that is based on true love, whether it's a romantic one, a friendship, or a family member, okay? It's just someone you trust fully, and you exchange and you brainstorm, or you work together with. Aries could be somewhere strongly in your chart. I see that, I again, that surge of energy. If you didn't feel the energy before, you're going to get like, you're going to get jolted back into mo feeling motivated. Um, I see a lot of activity. I see you um, being very driven. You, you having that spark and your heart connected to what you're doing. Your heart needs to be connected to what you're doing. You need to love what you're doing. And in doing so... I see for some of you being able to buy a new sports car if that's what you want, or a yellow car, or just a car. Um, but I see you like very clear about your mission. But there's something here that needs, you're going to have to have the courage to step this forward. And the courage I see with the heart, the heart at the center of her chest there, of course that's where it's placed, but it's, it's drawn on top of it. C courage means taking action from the heart space. And that is the only missing ingredient for you to go even further. And you know, you know that that flame of discipline, it burns a lot. It burns for longer than the flame of motivation, right? But when we are doing something that we absolutely love doing with people we absolutely love, that flame of motivation stays on. So I feel you've done a really good job with discipline so far, even if you're not motivated, you kept it going. But I feel now it's like universe favors the brave, right? And courage and, and, and being brave is basically the same thing. So by igniting your heart and following, taking action from that space, 
and vulnerability, that's when things are really, really going to pick up for you. And that's when you're going to get more of a constant motivation. So it's not going to feel like such a drag to go to work or to, to do work because you're going to be doing something you love with someone you love or something like that. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing that I'm getting. For some reason, um, I'm being shown Taylor Swift, okay? She's she's very much out there right now because she's touring and it's, she's a big deal, um, whatever, right? And she is. She's very talented. She um, writes her own songs. She plays her, her music on the piano, on the, on the, the guitar. She sings. Uh, she's a wordsmith. And she has to be disciplined, right? She has to be disciplined. She has to, to be smart. She has to prioritize things, right? But looking at this reading now and having uh, reflected a little bit on her career, because, you know, that's, that's what I do. I reflect upon things and, and things that come across, and I, I think about them. Um, and having reflected on that, for some reason... It dawned on me, and it, this has been reported on several times. There are several key ingredients on why she is so successful. She's a hard worker. She's smart. She's a good marketeer. But the thing is, she allowed herself, she exposed parts of herself that a lot of people would have preferred to kept, kept, keep hidden, right? Those parts of people that they are too shy or too embarrassed to show because it clashes with their ego and with the mask they want to show. And she knew she would run the risk of not getting the one thing she wanted the most, which was, you know, according to what she writes about, um, someone whom she could share a life with, someone whom would love her as much as she loves this person, someone whom was compatible with her, and she knew that she would be eliminating a lot of people by talking about the people she has been with in the way she felt um, she needed to talk about those people. And so any future contenders would have to be very strong people and would have to be people who were on the same page as her. And she knew she could narrow that down. But she did it anyway. Because deep down inside of her, she probably knew that the only way to find the right person for her, and it could have been through her music, or the, the only way she could inspire people and touch people's hearts and make them feel and heal would be with her vulnerability, with her authenticity. So what really got her far into her, her most authentic place and state, right, which is the highest vibration of them all, could only happen through vulnerability through opening her heart, and that's what she always did. That's how she created. And that's how she became this woman holding a coin. And that's how she stays motivated. Without dragging herself through work. Of course, sometimes she had to because she's only human. But she also got over that. Okay, I went on a rant now. That is what I wanted to say. But this may somehow inspire you, whether you like her or not whether, um, you know, other things that you may not appreciate about the whole energy, I understand. Um, I'm aware of all of that as well. But we are still in the 3D reality, and she knows all about 3D, right? And so there's also a, a big depth to her. She, I mean, she is a Sagittarius, right? So there's a spiritual depth to her, and it comes across in her lyrics as well. But, um, and I feel if I'm saying this to you and finding that magic within, I think there's a spiritual depth to you too. So you understand what I'm saying here. There's going to be an opportunity coming your way. Yay. Now, this opportunity I feel will be for a collaboration or a synergy of your talents, your ex your experience, your knowledge, your, um, What is it going to say? It doesn't matter. With someone else's, like, complimentary, right? Um, I do see you. You're not going to be doing things alone because we do have a two and a three. So 
you're going to be collaborating with at least more than you know at least one person but maybe even more there's windows of opportunity opening for you you're going to be welcomed or there's doors opening things developing uh, a lot of possibilities being created and this is because you are prepared okay so it's like luck opportunities you have to like to to be able to call yourself lucky you have to have first of all be prepared second of all have an opportunity but you need to be alert enough to identify an opportunity as such and you need to open your heart to all possibilities so that they can be created and sometimes you can find them in the place where you least expect it you find a slow a snowflake that is almost just like you you right so there's an opportunity coming that's good it could be with someone who tests you your patience a little bit okay it could be with someone who reflects things back to you someone whom you learn a lot from there could be obstacles and challenges when it comes to this uh, partnership relationship whatever this is it's 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 coming across as something that's not easy because something this person says calls you out or makes you feel called out and there could be some kind of tension or conflict between the two of you because this person is making you conscious of stuff that you need to be made conscious of and maybe you, you're not willing to see because you're very comfortable the way you are and maybe you do the same for this person you are like walk in mirrors for each other but you are in each other's lives to turn obstacles into stepping stones so while you may trigger each other at the beginning and uh, have this push and pull energy um, this person is really teaching you to open your heart be vulnerable and turn those obstacles into stepping stones and if, if there are obstacles and stepping stones in the way of your partnership then the very work of working on that alone will also give you both the tools that you need to work on your individual careers and finances or your joint careers and finances if that is the case yeah it's like you're gonna find a missing piece to the puzzle that you that was um, in the way of you creating more and making more money right and it, it's a person I can only see it's a person right this person may even irritate you at times and the communication between the two of you all all the while it may be mostly really really good because there's a mental connection here at times it may require some translation and explaining and a lot of talking back and forth to, because of adjustments because there's something that both of you are carrying that is very different and you will have to kind of find a middle ground when it comes to your differences while you have a lot of similarities it's the differences that you know at times may require adjustments to understand how you're gonna work together or how you can help each other or just simply showing each other a different perspective and point of view that will help you individually in your work and, and finances but at first may confuse you or may have you think about things from a different angle epiphany yeah you're gonna have some kind of an epiphany uh, when it comes to your career and finances and this can only happen through your spiritual growth so I feel you have been on connecting to your higher self you have been on a spiritual journey you have been meditating and you have been getting some answers through that energy of meditation you could have Virgo in your chart doesn't have to be Knight of Gabriel but right now I feel you're ready to just charge forward it's like you've done enough of that right and there's a confidence and an enthusiasm growing within you and courage look at that all the words I was using enthusiasm and courage look at that it's almost time to take action okay great passion for a cause there's something you really 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 want to do somewhere you really want to go instinctively knowing just what to you're gonna know what to do but you're gonna have to be courageous okay um, and for to be able to develop courage the first thing you need to develop is confidence now this theme came out in yesterday's pick a card so whenever the date is that I release this pick a card this is the pick a card that was released the day before the theme was confidence and courage 
So there's something there, and I feel the day before as well. So maybe watch one of those pick a cards and come back and let me know which one you chose and if it was the, the one that referred to confidence and courage. Because here I'm seeing the next step, which is actually enthusiasm. So maybe you've already watched those pick a cards. And following that even, I'm going to say charismatic. And that now touches on your magic. It's your personal charisma that you're finding within and you're going to discover that is going to jolt you back to life and show you exactly what you're meant to create and knowing exactly how to create it. And that's going to give you a newfound drive and confidence. But it takes courage. Two of Gabriel. You're going to be making some bold and ambitious choices here moving forward. But again, I'm seeing two people and it says important relationships with people who share your vision. Great progress is possible and planning is needed. Yeah, there's a plan that's needed. Four of Michael. Insights come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or more time off secretly from stress. Exactly what I was saying here. You need to rest right now. And I feel it's during that time when you're resting that you can come up with ideas and a plan on how to move forward. And you will know. But you need to really take a more playful, light approach to everything. And you need to allow your time to just take your mind off work altogether. And you will be gifted with insight. You will be gifted with that spark of an opportunity and the inspiration that you need to do something amazing. And you're going to feel that sense of wonder again that you maybe thought you would never feel again. You're going to feel it again, okay? To spark something you're really passionate about and you're going to see the whole way forward. You're going to see how you're going to make money. You're going to see a marketing strategy. You're going to see a vision of it's all going to just... It's going to like unfold like, like a, a movie in front of you, like a business plan will be, unfold right in front of your eyes without you even having to think about it or write it down. You're going to see the interest, intricacies. You're going to see the ins and outs. You're going to see the timelines. You're going to see the money. You're going to see how it can grow. You're going to see what you have to do to make it grow. It's going to be very intuitive. Labradorite is all about intuition. It's going to be very natural and intuitive, but it is connected here to a person as well. Amber. Warmth, regeneration, grounding, again, grounding. Yes, it's going to happen. I see wealth in your future. It says exuding warmth. And look at these colors, all this orange and the yellows. Sacral chakra, thir third chakra as well. So second and third chakra. Sacral chakra, solar plexus, chakra energies. Confidence, courage, charisma, enthusiasm, creation, um, these are the words that I'm seeing here. Warmth, right? Regeneration. Um, the energy of creation. It's young energy. It's young at heart. It's childlike. It's the inner child coming out to play. It's playful. It's relaxed. It is light and lighthearted. And that's the energy you need to be in to create and to come into this wonderful grounding of the physical manifestation of this energy energy of energy exchange exuding warmth and electrical charge it's like people are going to be attracted to your lightheartedness your charisma your courage your again fortune favors the brave is what i'm seeing here exuding warmth and the warmer you feel the more your heart is open to love and the more you experience true love the more you will be attracting in the people who need your service or your product or whatever it is that you have here Exuding warmth and electrical charge, amber was believed by the Chinese to encapsulate the soul of the tiger when it dies. With a rich history, amber was used as a protective talisman dating back to ancient times. If you need an amber bracelet, I have them currently on my at my store online, and you can find it there. I'm, I'm still doing a sale for the next few days. So if you need help with, with this energy here, amber will be really good. So amber, so let's go back here. Amber was used as a protective talisman dating back to ancient times. Technically comprised of tree resin that has been fossilized, amber is used for grounding higher energies back to earth. There we go. 
when rubbed, it can become electrically charged, and this is scientifically proven, okay? It's scientifically proven to heal pain as well. Dispelling negativity and igniting desire. Amber is used as a purifier, cleansing the environment and chakras alike. Use amber to electrify your life, and I would say to ignite your passion and the courage and all the things you need right now. Leo and Aquarius under this energy, or the sun in Leo or Aquarius could be a possibility for some of you. Not for all of you watching this, of course. Yeah, work through your fears. Amber is going to help you work through your fears so you can have a new beginning here. Something significant happening around the two last weeks of October for you. A new beginning here, I feel, is when you come full circle with working through your fears. Could be something that you've been doing, but I feel that you're going to close that cycle of working through your fears and you're going to start, you're going to get a chance and a new beginning and new opportunities because you're coming out of the energy of fear and into the energy of trust, joy, authenticity, um, and peace, really, creation, right? So beautiful reading, option one. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Uh, let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Welcome everyone who chose this beautiful watermelon tourmaline. Someone here maybe likes watermelon. The number 58 could be relevant and the number 5. So there's change. I focused on the number 5. Change that's leading to prosperity. Change that's leading to stable prosperity. But it takes doing something in unusual or in a way that is unusual. The number 13 and the number 4. An unusual route, an unusual routine, an unusual method. Unusual structure, unusual way of organizing things. Water. Something to do with water or melons. Something about tour, going on tour or touring. Line. Something about a line. Something about Elon. M.A. Massachusetts O N Is that Ontario? Maine Massachusetts W A It's on on to on tour So anything I'm saying here, just take it as synchronicity. If, if, it's, if it's New England, Washington, I'm just seeing as well, what's the name of that city? Toronto, Mali, RMA. What does RMA mean? RMA, L. So I'm seeing Mexico, Mel, the name Mel, ate, someone ate something. Okay, I'm not going to keep doing this, but for some reason I got stuck there. Okay, all the things I said plus that. Um, you're being supported by the universe right now. There's something you're meant to do that is outside the norm or the way you do it is different. Let's see. Ooh, experiments. Maybe you're experimenting or you need to experiment with different ways of doing things. Okay. 
this is not a very positive card, but here's what I'm, what's coming through. The number 33 is a positive number because it means you're connected to the Ascended Masters. You're protected. You're protected. But it could be that you're dealing with manipulative people on the career front or when it comes to your money. Someone is maybe forceful with you when it comes to career. If you're someone who is forceful, that needs to change. But for most of you, I'm seeing you're dealing with someone who always tries to get you to do things their way and they try to manipulate with you and they test you and they use you to experiment. This could be like, you could be an employee and this person is kind of like, they're not a really good boss and so they, they're just experimenting. Or if this is like even a business partner, this could be someone who wants to do things their way and they're, they manipulate you. Or someone could be even like... You could be dealing with someone really arrogant, cruel even. And you're very pure. And you're dealing with someone who is cruel, manipulative, possibly. But you're very protected from this energy. You're not losing your purity. Like, you're staying intact, but you're still having... I'm seeing someone asking, why do I have to deal with this BS? Why do I have to keep dealing with this? I'm tired. I'm fed up. I'm... Maybe you need to change your job or work with someone else or just something here. Because 3 plus 3 is a 6. You're meant for more. You're meant for abundance and prosperity. But why are you attracting this scenario? Are you feeling a lack of confidence? Are you needing to work on your self-confidence? What in your life has contributed to the fact that you feel that someone else can control you? You're coming across as someone who's very humble. Well, why do you allow this arrogant person to keep dictating things for you in whatever way if they don't align with your energy? You need to be around other people who are humble. There are bosses who are humble. This person is learning a lot from you or benefiting a lot more from you than you are from them. And they will go as far as you let them go. They're always testing your boundaries and they push a little bit more. Because there's no pushback. And the more they push forward, the more you allow, the more they will keep pushing forward. This person is, is manipulating your entire energy and almost living a second life through you. Because they're entitled. They feel entitled to. So it's time to take your power back. To reclaim that power. Second ray of wisdom. The number two. You're being divinely su supported by the angelic realm. By even past loved ones. By God. Okay. Is supporting you. Which is why you still have the strength to keep going. Okay. Despite... How this other person is draining your energy, sucking the life out of you, and completely in possession of you. This is so weird. What's going on? If you don't, if you don't feel this is your pile, go check out another pile, the other pile. Uh, if not, maybe there's a message for you here, and you kind of feel this energy could be the reality. Just keep watching. Because you have a kind of wisdom that is loving and is patient as, and is kind. And it's like you're always waiting for this person to change. You feel that if you show them by example, they will change, but they won't. And you giving your time and energy to this situation, to this person, you're taking on their energy slowly. But surely, and it's becoming a part of you, and to detangle yourself from the situation is only possible if you move away from this person. And the benefits of moving away will, will outweigh 
the benefits you think you're getting in this situation. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch option one. If you know what I may be talking about, stick around for the message. This person has led you to believe that the only way you can make money and you can be successful is through them, with them. When what I'm being shown in this whole reading is, is the exact opposite. It's by moving away from this person that you're going to fully feel the extent of the possibilities available to you. I feel option one is more aware of that as, as in different, like as in a, the next phase of what I'm seeing here. You have ver something very special about you, but you're not quite seeing it. And there's something you need to heal in order to be able to see that. And I feel the way to heal you, if, if you want to know how you can do that, you can then go to option one and watch because I feel there you will have a few messages <clears throat> about how to do that. Harmonic flight. The number 29 and the number two. So the number 29 actually came out in option one and actually this deck, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a message for you to go watch option one after you watch this one. Because there is another person, not this person, another person you could synergize with because you have compatible souls, different energies, but compatible souls, different talents, different um views but synergized one of you is more practical one of you is more intuitive one of you is more rational one of you is more emotional but the synergy of what you can teach each other and synergize these energies will be a lot more fruitful so this is saying with the number two here i was feeling partnership for you but right now you're in the wrong partnership even if you're an employee it's still a form of a relationship partnership right but there's like, there's, there's a more harmonious kind of partnership here than the one that you're cu currently experiencing, is what I'm seeing in this one. Yeah, you right now, you just feel all tied up. and But change is coming. It's not going to be that way forever. Two plus three is a five. The number 23 could be relevant. You feel, you feel stuck, basically. Career-wise, financially, how could you not? Look at this energy here. But this is showing me, this is giving me hope. This is saying you don't have to be stuck. There's um, other uh, opportunities and possibilities available to you, but you need to open yourself up to them. And if you're struggling with that, go watch option one. You could have strong Libra in your chart, or there could be some Libra here that is a, some kind of a, a link or a connection here. And it says harmonious. So the Libra energy here is that harmonious energy a cooperation that is more balanced someone else who is more socially aware than someone you're currently dealing with or someone you dealt with in the recent past someone who is more fear and not wanting to take all to themselves and have the power over anyone it's more like a someone who's more considerate and more graceful and uh, more also more accommodating more like you so both people would accommodate both people would have equal power in this situation. There's more of an ideal person to work with, is what I'm seeing. Someone who is more aligned with you. But you need to allow yourself to explore beyond the boundaries that you have self-imposed. You need to allow yourself to talk to other people, to um, say yes to other kind of social invitations or to say yes to communication and explore all those avenues through communication, through brainstorming, through um, connecting and socializing and allowing new information to flow. New thoughts, accommodating new thoughts, learning new things, learning new perspectives, learning new methods and new ways of doing things. Again, opening yourself up to learning 
And I feel you do love to learn, but it could be that this situation here has stunted even your ability to, to put your learning in practice. It's kind of stunted your growth here. But there will be progress and growth with that number three there. I do see that in your future square. But right now, there's just a lot of challenges being presented to you. And it's because of the energy of this person is seeping into your energy, getting mixed. And this mixology, this synergy is just creating tension and stalls and things moving really slow and struggles that are unnecessary. And you keep, you know, getting frustrated and there keeps being demands and, and blocks to your full abundance and your full capacity to live the full potential that is there, that is you. And you're always having to fix things and work things out and put out fires. And it's because you're dealing with, you're working with the wrong person or the wrong people, okay? That keep you in a constant stalemate, blinded to the, the possibilities beyond all these. Um, it, it could be that you're working with someone who is either closed minded or one track minded or someone who is not very creative or someone who for every solution, they give you three obstacles. Um, this is someone who is fearful, who holds on too tightly to things, who's very possessive of possessions and people. And, and it's just someone who creates resistance in the energy of flow of the energy exchange that is money and clients and sales and whatever it is you do for your career. It's always either a product or, or a service, right? Uh, in one way or another, it's, it's, but it, it, it's just so much harder than it needs to be is what I'm seeing here. Um, so it feels like a burden and a pressure and op oppression even. And so all the struggles that you experience would be unnecessary. It's this person's energy that is making it heavier than it needs to be. Twelfth house. But what is subconsciously running you to the point where you find yourself controlled by this person because that's what I'm seeing here and if this is triggering you I, I apologize I'm so sorry and if this is not your reading please go watch another one and disregard this completely I don't want you to be listening to anything that does not resonate with you right what is running you subconsciously that would allow this to perpetuate are you dealing with guilt? Are you dealing with a need to heal something that you... Do you need to forgive someone? Do you need to release yourself from a situation? Are you someone who is so empathic and compassionate that you can't see when something is hurting you to the point where there's nothing you can do for this person and maybe the best thing you could do is stop enabling them by lending them your body and your soul. Maybe you need prayer, right? Maybe this is a part of your spiritual development. This could be a karmic cycle that you're in. You know, each one of us is in different states and different, you know, um, chapters, different stages. Um, but what I do see is that when you're ready and when you're done with this lesson, or maybe this has been in the recent past, okay, maybe this is something you have released yourself from. I do see you releasing yourself from this. But I feel if you're feeling lost and you need a solution out of this, I definitely feel that option one would have a very good explanation for you. First house. You're going to be welcomed into a new realm. You're, there's going to be an opportunity for you to experience something different, but I feel at first the fear is going to hold you back because you're so used to what you know, even though it's not good. You're just worrying that you will go to worse, but it, it doesn't feel like that way because we're closing a chapter here and there's a new one. 
And what's what's being what I see beyond those two doors seems to be very promising and very prosperous and something of growth and abundance, right? And peace, because the color green, peace, right? Peace. I said peace right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a peaceful chapter. It's a it's a peaceful opportunity. And when you see the word peace, you immediately feel high vibration. But you need to release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Yeah, surrender. The word here is surrender, which means let, let go. God is in charge of this. It, it's not going to get worse. But when, once you do take this, this leap of faith, you're going to just see how bad it was. Thank goodness you don't fully see the full thing right now, or you're you're at the a threshold of this change. There's a death and a rebirth happening for you on the career front and with your finances, and that's going to bring you peace. Thirteen could be significant. One plus three, four. Four is the energy of structure, hard work, and methods. This is gonna this is gonna take some work, right? It's gonna take a restructuring, but it's gonna be worth it. Four of Raphael, because right now, Four of Cups, you're just not happy. You're discontent, you're bored, you're 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 feel like you're missing out and you're longing for something different. You're seeking out other possibilities right now, or maybe you should. You're looking for the magic in life. And you're becoming aware of your own emotions. Or at least that's a sign to become aware of your own emotions, because they are speaking volumes. Don't ignore your emotions because they are connected to your intuition. That's the only way you can turn this around. You can close that karmic cycle and step into your dharma. Yes, it may be uncomfortable at first, but that is temporary. There's a new beginning here for you. A change in direction, a shift that will offer happiness. And this is confirming that the change will be for the better. The number 10 could be relevant and the number 1. Queen of Gabriel. Look at this beautiful energy here. That's someone who is in charge. That is someone who is supported by the universe, passionate about what they're doing, independent from this subjugation here. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. You have the brilliance. You have the charm. You have the passion within you. You could have Leo Sagittarius Aries in your chart. I'm also seeing um, Gemini. Pisces, Aries possibly, Scorpio, untie yourself and this will be the benefit. If you do take this leap of faith, if you do the change you need to do, helpful people will show up, opportunities will show up and things will move a lot faster for you. You can be free. Right? You can release yourself. You're not stuck. Not really. It's it's you're more like it's more like your mind. And whoever this person who manipulated you really worked your mind to the point where this person contributed. If you're already an overthinker, they knew how to use that against you to keep you stuck to their belief system. But you can be free. But you have to make the courageous choice to change your situation. You're not really seeing things clearly right now. How could you? But hopefully this reading is going to help you. It's like this person got into your mind in such a way that they don't even have to talk to you anymore. Maybe, they don't, maybe at some point they only had to do some kind of a look, right? Look at you a certain way. And now they don't even have to do that because... Whatever they did, they, they have control over your mind. But you're the only one who can change that. Someone's name is Gabrielle, Gabby, Gift of the Gab. You have the, you're, you have, you're a lot stronger than you think. Bumblebee Jasper. Pollination, willpower, new ideas. You're going to have some kind of new ideas and a surge of willpower. I feel you need to go and watch option one. You could have a Leo sun, doesn't have to be. Sting like a bee. 
Bumblebee Jasper enhances creativity and helps to pollinate ideas, bringing them to life. You have a lot of ideas that you should bring to life. The stone gives off a fighting spirit. You have to fight against this. Having been formed in a volcano and containing a strong earthy energy, I feel you're at the you're at your wit's end. You're about to explode. Because volcano has a big significance here. You're pushing it down, you're keeping it in, and it's going to explode. The change is already happening within you. That connects with the willpower of the solar plexus. Bumblebee Jasper also assists in alleviating overall health. It seems like even your health is affected by the situation. Bumblebee Jasper encourages you to create a buzz, to let yourself be seen and heard for who you are, and whatever new projects you're working on, take pleasure in your gifts. Not the gift someone else tells you, not some, what someone else tells you need, you need to be, not how someone else has manipulated you to think of who and what you needed to be. It's who you truly are in your authenticity. If you watch option one, you're going to see what the payoff for that is. I feel you need both readings in, in this. And then you will have your win-win outcome. And that is forecast, by the way. That is in your energy. That is the potential here that you can tap into. But you need to be real with yourself and real with others. Full moon in Libra. Something about April here is very significant. For you to come full circle and close a big karmic cycle. I see around April you're, car you're closing a really big karmic cycle. That's at least going to balance your energy so that you can build from there. It's like a break even of your energy. Yes, the balance. Libra. I feel around October, Libra full moon, not October, October, I said October, so let's just stick with that. Between October and April, and or April and October, you're going to find that balance. You're going to ask yourself, 8th house, Scorpio energy, some deep questions about who you are, you're rediscovering yourself, regenerating yourself, reinventing yourself, coming out on the other side as your version 2.0, aligning with Neptune, your dreams, your vision of the future, your spiritual truth, and you're going to have like a, a starting point where you're going to be able from there to create peace and something you're passionate about and something that you can grow and can become something really, really special. But you have to do things differently. The way you've been doing things, the same way. You know how doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results, is the definition of insanity. So maybe you're going to look back and say, that was insane once you jump out of this energy, which you will. You're closing a karmic cycle, and it's happening between October and April, or April and October, whenever you're watching this. If you're watching this right before October, it's between October and April. If you're watching this right before April, it's between April and October. No more than eight months is what I'm seeing here. But it's going to take a deep dive surrendering, letting go of a lot of baggage, a lot of stuff, doing a lot of healing, asking yourself some very deep questions and giving yourself some very honest answers. Okay, that was your reading option two. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.